Welcome to this lesson on graphing trig functions. I'll assume that you already know how to graph the six basic trig functions. We will study how to stretch or squish or move these graphs up or down, left or right. A viewer requested this topic a few days ago. In part one, we will play with the sine function. These are the examples that we'll be doing in this part. On an exam, you'll probably be given something like the one on the bottom. It's not as scary as it looks. You only have to remember three things. Sine of zero is zero. Sine of pi over 2 is 1, and sine of negative pi over 2 is negative 1. Am I kidding you? Nope. We can easily reason everything out. We have enough memorizing to do. Look at the graph of y equal to sine x. What will y equal to 3 sine x look like? 3 times sine x means the y values are being multiplied by 3. A negative 1 would become a negative 3. 0 times anything is 0. At pi over 2, the 1 becomes a 3. See the curve stretch up and down. Give it a quick check. At 0, y is 0. At pi over 2, y is 3. Looking good. Let's move on. Here's y equal to sine x again. What will y equal to negative 3 sine x look like? Each y value is being multiplied by negative 3. So a negative 1 becomes a 3. 0 is still 0 and a 1 becomes negative 3. Here it is. And we see that that is just y equal to 3 sine x flipped upside down. Ready for the next one? What will y equal to 1 plus sine x look like? We add 1 to all the y values. Just pull the whole curve up one unit. Here it is. To do the next problem, we're going to start with y equal to 3 sine x. What does y equal to 3 times sine of x minus pi over 2 look like? In the first equation, when x is 0, y is 0. In the second equation, when x is pi over 2, y equals to 0. We can imagine ourselves grabbing the curve at the origin and moving it over pi over 2 units to the right. There it is. That leads us to the last problem y equals negative 2 plus 3 sine of x minus pi over 2. The only change is a negative 2 on the right side. It means all the y values are decreased by 2 units. We shift the whole curve down 2 units and there it is. Let's give it a quick check. Plug in some x values and make sure the points work. For example, if x is pi over 2, we do get negative 2. And if x is 0, we do get negative 5. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? Hope you had fun. Next time we'll do a cosine problem. See you then. Bye.